Hey everyone, Diogo Marques here, your friend in sales. Now that we are all at home due to this pandemic, if you are a daughter or salesperson or a face-to-face -face agent, you are now faced with doing some changes. You need to do some adjustments in order to keep doing business. What I have been doing so far that has been working is the first thing that I did, I started calling old prospects, people that already I already did business with, and I asked them for referrals. And this is something that sometimes you forget about, but think about it like this. These are people that you already established some sort of trust and you only have something to gain when you are actually revisiting some of the existing clients that you already have because it would be easier for you to get referrals from them because you already have like an existing relationship. The other thing that I've been doing that is working as well is I go on LinkedIn and I find people that have their cell phone numbers there. So you do an outreach, you connect with them and the ones that like you get connected with, look for the ones that have cell phone numbers there because there's a high chance that those people in nature, they are socially prone. They are open to receiving connections. This is why they have their cell phone there. Sometimes like they are rude people and they just forget, but these are not the, the majority of people. Most of them, they put their cell phone numbers there because they are people that are look forward to receiving a connection. So if you are doing a cold call uh, connection to these people and it's, if it's the first time, most likely they are social. So they will be welcoming when receiving your income call. So what you need to do is like, I, like I tell you, this is what I've been doing so far and has been working for me. So the first thing is, reach out to existing clients so they can, they can give you referrals. This is the first thing. The second one is keep like bump up your efforts on LinkedIn, try to connect with more and more people, like look for CEOs, like the typical profile of people that you usually connect with and focus on only people that have their cell phone numbers there. You send them an email, like let's say your first presentation, like a short email, let, let's say that's what you do and what you wanna help them with. And then you call them afterwards saying, listen, I sent you an email trying to like pick the thing up if, if the conversation picks up from there. Okay. This is the second thing. The third thing that I got for you, especially if you're not dead used to doing phone calls because you are more like a face to face agent is actually practice. And what I mean by practice is when you start your day, you have your, your, your sales script, right? What you know what you need to say in order like to keep the conversation at, at float so you can keep developing the thing until you get it done and make a sale. If you practice this conversation before you start cold calling people, you will see that your stress levels will go down because as you start calling people, it's like the practice uh, starts to kick in. Like you are less anxious because you know what to do, right? It's like, it's something, I don't know what that is. It just works. You try it for yourself. Like you're, you write your sales script, like what you are going to say, like possible uh, objections that the guy is going to have, right? When you have this nailed down on paper and you know what to say, even if it's like to a certain extent, let's say like 80% or like, it's, it's not like bulletproof, but it, like a high percentage of you nailing it, you'll start seeing that you are less stressed. So it would be easier for you to do. And the more you do this, like every single day, like clockwork, the more you do this, the less stressed you'll start to be because you start getting accustomed to it. Think about it. If you are like being analytical and looking at the situation and seeing like, okay, I am a store because you are the agent, right? So you need to make as many calls as you can, right? So it makes sense that you need to like be on the phone every single day and calling. The problem is a resistance level that you're going to face when you are in the beginning because you don't like, you're not used to it, right? You're used to like driving like one hour to meet some client and then like spend some time, time in between calls. And this is different because it's like call, 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 right? So this is a different approach. And what solves this for you if, is if you practice in the morning, you start feeling your stress levels go down. I, I know I'm saying this like repeatedly, but it actually works. And I want to get this point through because it's super important. If you feel like super stressed now, it's normal because you're not used to it. If you practice before you start calling people, you'll start feeling better. 
And the whole thing to this, and this, this is the hardest part, is you being able to be consistent. What you have to do every single day is like, if you use LinkedIn to do the first cold call, like people that have their cell phone numbers there after you gain the connection, you need to open like the tabs the day before. Because if you do it, if you do that in the, the same day that you're going to do make the calls, you're gonna waste like one hour or two. It's a waste of time. You need to do it like at the end of your day in the previous day. So when you start the next day, like clean slate, like you do your practice, like your exercise, your meditation, everything in the morning, like to keep you like at equilibrium, right? Optimized state in order for you to start doing your day today. When you open the thing, like, all the tabs are already open. So it's like you're saving time. It's like call, 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 call. And you can watch some of the videos that I have on this playlist. One thing that I discovered is that, and this is really powerful, is that when you disconnect your thinking brain, right, you're like only on execution mode, it makes it easier for you because you're not stopping, you're not stopping momentum. So as long as you keep going and you're like, the, the thing is already open, you already know where to go. In this specific case, it's like you already know who you're going to call, right? Because the tabs are already open. You're not gonna waste any time. And you will feel better because when you are looking at things from an analytical point and saying, I need to like make so many calls and like get started, let's say nine o'clock and finish at like seven o'clock at, at evening, whatever the case might be, right? You made an assessment regarding the best optimal case for you. If you respect that, if you actually follow what your analytical brain is telling you, you will feel better. If you don't, you will feel like crap because you are gaining this short-term gratification, but you are losing in the long run. It's like death from a, a thousand cuts. Like it doesn't hurt every single day, but at the end of like a certain period, you're like you're bleeding all over the place. It's like losing money. So in a specific case, it's like, you have like, let's say 30 tabs or 35 tabs. Forget about that, all that crap about I make 500 calls a day. That's just bullshit. That's not true. People, if, if you make 50 calls in one day and you do it like I'm telling you, it's like open your day, like meditate. You like, your mind is clear. You like, you feel at peace. You like, you're fine, right? And you disconnected your thinking brain. You are now on execution mode, but you feel like this inner peace. Like it's like part warrior, but part you're not stressed, you're calm. And you are calm because of two things. The first one is that your practice kicks in. And the, and the second one is that your thinking brain is disconnected. You're like on execution mode. You can only think after or before, not while you're doing the thing, because otherwise it's like you, you, you find yourself stopping in the middle of what you need to be doing, right? And you mess everything up. So you need to disconnect your thinking brain. And the way to do that is being like on execution mode. And I'll actually give you an example. If you have like those 30 or 35 tabs open, you'll notice that you will have this feel of this need of like, get out of, get, get up, like stand up and go to the kitchen and, and like bring a cup of coffee or something. You need to force yourself down and this is important. I want you like to get this point across. Force yourself to sit down and you're not going to do anything else until you finish all the tabs. It doesn't matter if you just got 10 from the connections, you do 10. If you have 35, you do 35. You will not stand up. You will not open an email tab. You will not do anything else but everything that you need to accomplish. So it's like those 35 tabs, complete those like one at a time, like one done, one done, one done, until you reach the end. You will thank me later because at the end you will feel better. Even if you don't make any sales, it doesn't matter. It's about keeping the momentum. And as long as you keep doing this, you will make, you will make some sales because you are being consistent. And the problem here is not that you are not a good salesperson, it's about consistency. It's about the store mentality. And the only way for you to do that is to do twofold. The first thing is staying organized, meaning the, the day before you already open every, every single tab. Like, so the next day when you start, it's like ready to go. The second thing is like open-minded, like you meditate, you feel calm, you feel at peace, you feel at peace, like you're fine, right? You're ready to do this, right? One at a time, remember, it's like one step at a time. You don't jump to the mountain like on the first, it's like one step at a time until you get there, right? And the other thing is disconnecting your thinking brain. So 
when you are doing this, you don't do anything else until you finish your like 50 tabs or wherever the case might be. Do this on a consistent basis, do this and you'll find yourself like one day, then second day, then the third day, then the fourth day. After a while, you're not anxious anymore. You feel calm and at peace when you're talking to people because you know what to say. Practice will start to help you because you like, you have more practice behind you, right? You know what to do. You're not stressed because you know what, what, how to react. You know how to fight. You know how to counter punch. You don't have to think about it. Thinking about it while you are doing it, it uh, poses like it's extra pressure on, your, on yourself. You're like you're forcing yourself to do too much stuff. When, it, when you have your practice behind you, it becomes easier. You know what to do. And this only happens if you practice this on a regular basis. If you feel stressed, this is perfect, perfectly normal. Successful people go through this as well. But the only difference between successful people and uh, unsuccessful ones is that successful people, like, they understand the pressure, they feel it, but they keep doing this until they actually succeed. This is the main difference. I hope you enjoyed this, today's video. If you are at home, remember this is a time of adjustment. You are a salesperson. You just need to like change some things in order to keep doing business. See this as an opportunity, not as a problem. Entrepreneurs are problem solvers. So you need to like adjust the strategy. That's it. You're already a salesperson, right? So you just need to adjust your strategy. So I hope these tips help you. Remember to reach out if you have any questions. I, I like helping people. So just send me like a, an email message or anything like that or comment below this video and I'll help you guys out. Remember to subscribe and visit byudigital.com slash book. I have a book there regarding all this framework that helps you as an entrepreneur in order for you to move forward. And by, by any means, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to, to help you guys out. Peace.